There was a survey recently. They say the majority of Americans think that Jordan is the GOAT as opposed to LeBron. You think that's going to be the case even after LeBron retires? Yeah. Jordan's just going to go down as a GOAT. Jordan was designed the same way Jesus has been designed. So people sit around and talk about Jesus Christ from 2019 years ago. Yeah. I mean, in fact, you know, I brought this up a couple of times in my interviews. You know, when we were talking about the whole Michael Jackson thing, I pointed out that Michael Jackson is the most famous person on earth since Jesus Christ. Right. More famous than Jordan, more famous than Ali, Michael Jackson. Exactly. In fact, Michael Jai White, he, he texted me after seeing that, you know, the, the actor, and he said, Michael Jackson is more famous than Jesus because when you look at China, you know, religion is outlawed and the majority of Chinese don't really know about Jesus Christ like that, at least back then. Right. I don't know about now exactly, but you, you can't even have Google in China. So I'm not sure about that part. So the me and him- Right. The propaganda of Christianity has been pushing and being in wars with Muslims uh, to help people check out the Benzamine Empire when that was happening. Why there's so many mosques across? No, like it's so funny when I start seeing stuff now, that just means they don't know history. That yeah. obviously means our school system doesn't want to teach them that. Right. These have been Christian Muslim wars for thousands of years. You know, but we were talking about... Wait, but this is what I'm saying. They have been broadcasting and, and talking about Jesus Christ for... The reason we say it's 2019 is because of Jesus Christ. Exactly. And the rest of the world agrees with it. So, uh, they <laughs> yeah, go there along you go. with it. Michael Jackson doesn't have a, a timetable associated with him Not that yet. everyone right. uses. Right. That's the difference. <laughs> but I, I get the week... BM night. before Michael. Yeah. <laughs> BMJ yeah, oh before Michael God. Jackson. But but in basketball, Jordan is the Michael Jackson of basketball. Yeah. As Jay-Z said. In I'm, sports, actually. One of the Michaels. You pick one. Jordan, Tyson. Would you, would you put Jordan over Muhammad Ali? Never. In terms of fame? Period. So Muhammad Ali is bigger than Muhammad Michael Ali is Jordan. the greatest of all time. Okay. Because he invented it. He invented <laughs> I'm the GOAT. Okay. So since he invented it, he's the GOAT. He could have. Second thing is, the reason you really can't, Michael Jordan's never going anywhere, is I'm going to tell people, because of Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth played in the 20s, uh, whenever. I guess in the 30s, right? 20s or 30s, 40s, whatever Babe Ruth played. And we still talk about, they still talk about Babe Ruth. They still will show and have things of Babe Ruth. That's what Michael Jordan is going to be in 50 years. It's going to be the Babe Ruth of basketball. And there's Ty Cobb, there's Hank Aaron, there's Barry Bonds, there's, there's Lou Garrett, there's Mickey Mantle. That's what LeBron and Kobe and Durant and um, who else? Allen Iverson. They're going to be those names. But there's only one Babe Ruth. Like There's only hmm. one Michael Jordan and there's one Jesus Christ. And then there's Michael Jackson, and both of them were worshipped by people. But one continuously is worshipped by people. One is being destroyed. Right. There's also Tupac. Right, so give an example. When you talk to hip-hop, you're going to have this conversation. Uh, Biggie and Tupac, who are the greatest two rappers, right? They both most died. People, most they people both only Tupac. put out two. Well, how many albums did Tupac put out? A lot. How um, many albums after he died? Yeah. <laughs> Before he died, I think like five. Right. Biggie has two. Yeah. Right? But if when I let, if I, right now, if you say something, I'm going to hit you with this. There's Bob Marley. There's John Lennon. There's Elvis Presley. There's Michael Jordan. There's Miles Davis. There's uh, uh, John Coltrane, uh, Cab Calloway. Like I can keep Marvin Gaye, Sam Cooke. I'm going to give you all of these, and people are going to say, who's the greatest of all time? Well, Greatest in their time. Sam Cooke was the greatest in his time. Mm -hmm. Sam Cooke changed the way we do everything. Right. But Sam Cooke made the Afro hot. Mm. So <laughs> people didn't know that. They thought, oh, yeah, just Black Pop. No, it was Sam Cooke. Sam said, Cooke. I'm not doing this anymore. Next day, Smokey Robinson said in his documentary, we all got Afros. Mm. And Jackie Wilson was the only one still making his hair flat. <laughs> Even James Brown got Afro for a second. <laughs> right. <laughs> 
Right, then the Jackson Five and, and everything right. else like that. That all started with Sam Cook. Sam Cook. Okay, so because of just the marketing around Jordan's name, he, he saved the world. Space Jam. Space Jam. Well, LeBron's doing Space Jam. Too. He has to if he wants to be <laughs> if he wants to be the next Jesus Christ or the next what Michael Joe, whatever y'all want to call him. He got to save the world. He's got to save the world. Yeah, he he shouldn't do Space Jam. He should be an Avenger if he really want to do something. Join it with Iron Man oh, and the rest of them. There you go. There you go. Well, people are saying that uh, Zion Williamson is going to be the next LeBron. I hope Zion stays healthy. I love mm. left-handed players. Tony Kuko is one of my favorite. Uh, I tell you, that kid is... You see how kids in college just move out of his way? They're like, just, just move out of his way. Well, uh, Nike, stopped, Nike stock dropped by like 2 or 3% after that shoe exploded. I would too. Because I... The dividends are coming out of your out of the <laughs> stockholders' money. Uh, <laughs> right. The imagine for Nike, yeah. if he doesn't. If I were Under Armour, it'd be a five hundred million dollar contract. Mm. If I wasn't Under Armour, and I would build every one of his shoes, I tell everyone of this: Michael Jordan broke his shoe, broke his foot in his shoe, in his own shoe. Okay. And then from that point on, and when he came back that following season, he wore a pair, a new pair, every game. He never let the shoe wear down. So I got to Oh, because he was reusing the same shoes. That's what everyone will do, right? Even you, when you have your own line, like a Jordan? Well, now, well, that's exactly his point. Hmm. It was exactly his point. First thing, what factory made these? Don't the, So Nike is so particular about how they build things. So guaranteed where that was. And people got to understand something, too. People think things are supposed to be perfect when they're not. Planes crash. But a lot, of, a lot of planes don't. Right, Ethiopian Airlines. Right, a lot of planes don't. So when that happens, there's they look at it as this whole thing. Well, there's an overreaction because there was another plane crash that happened somewhat recently with the same model plane. So right. suddenly they're grounding all these planes worldwide. Which is a smart thing to check them. Yeah. Finally, you're telling us, you know what, we're going to take more time on these planes. Right. Then after you finish taking those and you put them back in the system, do it. Take do the same thing with all the rest of the planes. How about... We pick a year where you shut down lines and you go through them with a fine tooth comb. Yeah, no, absolutely. 